गाइस हेलो एवरीवन मानसल प्रशन पाटिल टुडे वी विल सी न्यू बॉन्ड फ्रॉम द सब्जेक्ट ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम द टॉपिक नेम इज डेडलॉक डिटेक्शन एंड रिकवरी फर्स्ट वी विल सी व्हाट इज इन बाय डेडलॉक एक्चुअली डेडलॉक इज अ स्टेट व्हेन टू और मोर प्रोसेसेस ट्राइंग टू एक्सेस सम रिसोर्सेस सेम रिसोर्स then deadlock may occur which is called as deadlock now we will see how to handle deadlock by using deadlock detection and recovery by using wait for graph algorithm it is a simple graph algorithm first we will see what is first we will see what mean by wait for graph first we will see what is wait for graph wait for graph is when we remove resource from resource allocation graph it becomes a wait for graph let us see the resource allocation graph and how to convert how to convert wait for graph to resource allocation graph see in the figure at left side figure process p2 allocate the resource r1 but the process p1 already hold the resource r1 now here remove the resource r1 and ag is connected from process p1 to process p2 now see the right side figure in the right side figure process p1 directly connected to process p2 likewise remove all the resources from resource allocation graph and then this graph is converted into uh, converted into wait for graph the next one is the resource allocation graph actually deadlock can be described more precisely in terms of directed graph called system resource allocation graph this graph consists of set of vertices p and a set of edges e the set of vertices v is partitioned into two different types of nodes which is called as p is equal to p1 comma p2 up to p of n means processes the set of consisting of all the active processes in the system and r r means resources is equal to r1 comma r2 up to r of n the set of consisting of all resources type in the system let us see a directed edge from process to process p to resource type r of j is denoted by p of i is pointed to r of j it signifies that process p has requested an instance of resource type r of j and is currently waiting for that resource a directed edge from resource type r of j to process p is denoted by r of j is pointed to p of i it signifies that an instance of resource type r1 has been allocated to process p a directed edge p of i is pointed to r of j is called as requested edge a directed edge r of j is pointed to p of j is called as assignment edge now see in the figure resource allocation graph which contains process states a process p1 is holding an instance of resource type r2 and is writing for an instance of resource type r1 now see process p2 is holding an instance of r1 and an instance of r2 and is waiting for an instance of r3 let us see that process p3 is holding an instance of r3 given the definition of resource allocation graph it can be shown in that figure if graph contains no cycle then no process in the system is deadlocked if graph does contain a cycle then deadlock may exist 
if each resource type has exactly one instance then a cycle implies a deadlock has occurred if a cycle involves only a set of resource types each of which has a single instance then a deadlock has occurred each process involved in the cycle is deadlocked in this case a cycle in the graph is both the necessary and sufficient condition for the existing of a deadlock each if each resource type has several instances then a cycle does not necessarily imply that a deadlock has occurred in this case a cycle in the graph is a necessary but not a sufficient condition for the existing of a deadlock suppose that the process p3 request and instance of resource type r2 since no resource instance is currently available a request age process p3 is pointed to a resource r2 is added to the graph see in the figure see in the next figure 7.3 resource allocation graph with deadlock at this point two minimal cycle exist in the system process p1 process p2 and process p3 are deadlocked are deadlocked process p2 is waiting for the resource r3 which is held by the process p3 process p3 is waiting for either process p1 or process p2 to release resource r2 in addition the process p1 is waiting for process p2 to release the resource r1 the next one is figure 7.4 resource allocation graph with cycle but no deadlock however there is no deadlock observe that process p4 may release its instance of resource type r2 that resource can then be allocated to process p3 breaking the cycle if a resource allocation graph does not have a cycle then system is not a deadlock state if there is a cycle then the system may or may not be in deadlock state this observation is important when we deal with deadlock problem thank you